in uh, Hindi films also. But are there sometimes what you've said, and while of course cinema and I think all communication has a social responsibility, what happens when issues like this impact on creativity? When people start telling you what you should do, you met the INB minister recently as well on the issue of you know words that are allowed and not banned. What should be seen by young Indians or by India or not? It's a thin line. I mean, people have referred to Delhi Belly and talked about that when you referred to you know AIB rose, not something you agree with. Mm -hmm. How do you decide about where censorship? When you say this is what India should see or this is what should be shown in films. Actually, I'm not saying that's what India should see or what we should make in films. I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm not saying that's what we should do. I'm saying that's what we could do. This is when I say that's what we should do, then I'm telling everyone what to do. I'm not doing that. I'm saying that's what we could do. It's an opportunity. We can either seize it or not. Each one of us as a creative person is free to make what we want. I don't have to make content which has something to offer to a society. I don't have to. I can just make you laugh. That's fine. That's also a good job in any case. Just entertaining people is, is a job in itself. So um, that's fine. But I'm, I'm just pointing out that that's what we could do. Regarding censorship, so I'm saying that I can make a film just my own creative urge that I want to make a film. It doesn't have to have a message in it. So I'm not saying that every filmmaker should certainly start doing that. Uh, I'm just pointing out that that opportunity exists. Mm -hmm. The other thing that uh, I want to say about, if you brought up about censorship, is that uh, there are two, three aspects to it. One, certainly, you know, we, we should, I mean, I'm totally against banning any kind of material. Mm -hmm. I'm totally against banning any kind of material. Uh, I mean, when the, when the minister, INB minister spoke to us, he also clarified that the, actually the ministry has no such list of names or words that they should be used or should not be used. And he clarified that the, uh, it's a certification board, not a censor board, and, and therefore they're just supposed to certify. So he clarified all that to us. Uh, and it was really nice to, to hear that. So, uh, I mean, I didn't like a certain amount of a, a certain content, but I cannot like content. I mean, so many people have not liked my film. That's fine. You know, uh, commenting on a film, liking it, not liking it, is your prerogative, anyone's prerogative, which is the prerogative of the audience or anyone seeing it. But to stop somebody is not something that is, is right. And certainly after a film has been through certification, then when some certain groups, you know, take to violence, take law into their own hands uh, to stop a film, that's really, really sad and unfortunate. I think it happened with Mr. Kamal Hassan mm -hmm. some time back. And uh, it's really unfortunate and I feel ashamed, Mr. Mr. Hassan, to say that, you know, at that time I was lost in my work, but as an industry, and stand by each other. And I want to apologize to you publicly that I didn't, I wasn't there at that time. I read about it later and I was so, I felt so bad. I felt so bad that and, and you know we were not there with you. It's really unfortunate. So I think that banning a film is not right. I think uh, once a film has received its certification then it is the responsibility of the state to ensure that you know people can watch the film you know without any uh, fear. Yeah. As you said that you don't also, the, these numbers sometimes confuse you but often the news that comes out of the film industry is all about numbers. Oh this star has made so much per film. This film has broken the 100 crore club, 200 crore club, 300 crore clubs. These were almost m meaningless numbers now in a sense. Do you think it stifles what actually this yeah, industry yeah, is it, about? It, it really does. <laughs> it really does. Because what happens, is, I, first of all, I, I, I'm not someone who uh, talks about my numbers because I think that uh, that is the last thing on my mind when I'm selecting a film. The day I start selecting a film, with this in mind that this has to be a very big hit or very big success, that's the end of my creativity. That day, I won't be a creative person anymore. So I cannot, I, I, can't, I can't bring myself to, to think that way. Unfortunately, I do see around me a lot of, uh, a lot of us do, uh, you know, make our choices based on what we think is going to be successful. You can do that. I mean, everyone has their own way of working, but I, I think that stifles. I somewhere feel that that stifles, you know, it stifles the growth of the industry in a positive way. Uh, new ideas, challenging ourselves creatively is what we should be doing. And, and, and really a, a lot more of us can in fact start looking at content for children which I feel most of us are not doing. <laughs> of course, at Amir Khan, it's been wonderful talking to you and thank you so much for being here this thank morning. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amir sir, I'm going to request you to remain on stage before we move on to the next uh, section. And I'm truly influenced by the part of honesty that you spoke about. And thankfully my brother Minonshir is here and he said 
that Viraf, you were so nervous because of Amir Khan on stage, you forgot to introduce yourself. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Viraf. I'm an actor and I'm truly inspired and fortunate to be a part of a generation that has been influenced by a mind called Amir Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for Amir Khan. And taking your honesty thing further, sir, when nobody is looking, I still, when I see a rock, I try and jump off it why, like you did in your uh, Pelana Shah song. <laughs> and uh, to get going,